Here we go then. All right. Trans are cooking. Trans are cooking with Tom off the beaten pot. Link below to his channel. Go and check him out. For this meal, you should have in here one pack containing everything you need. I've got two yep. tortillas. I've got that. A bit of silver in there, which has got chopped chorizo and powdered Heinz tomato soup, and that oh, is right. going to be our tomato sauce. So what do I need first? Yeah. You need your sauce mix, which is smoked chipotle chili flakes and oregano, a tiny bit of pepper. Looks pretty illegal when it's in a bag, doesn't yeah. it? Reminds me of the college days. So this is going straight in there? Straight in. And yours? Yep. Yeah. Wait! No, that's fine. Yeah, carry yeah. on. <laughs> now the uh, contents, the flavour. And then we're going to add water until it's slightly thinner than the pizza sauce that you're, that you're probably imagining. Give it a good old mix. Get it on the heat. So yeah, it's coming up to heat now. That, that's good you to go then. then? Yeah. yeah, so next stage of proceedings is grab one of your breads and just smear it round. I, I do the chorizo next. Get the mozzarella on there. Papa. Put that <coughs> in there now. Just want to keep your eye on that. Yeah. We'll just start to see under. it browning. I left mine on. I wasn't checking. So right. I can see it'll here. be lovely. It'll taste like it's um, but, uh, stone baked. I like things burnt. That's anyway. a better side. Yeah. I'm going for mine. Right. Here we go. I'm going to try it. Mmm. Oh, good, Tom. Freshly cooked. Tasty. When you cook anything, it's always uh, rewarding, isn't it? Yeah. In your own food. Yeah. Comfort, convenience. Cheers, Tom. Cheers, Trev. There we go. Top set up, and that's our cooking station for the night. The communal area. Cooking today! What's for tea, Tom? Coconut and spinach dal. And here's a, a mixture of stuff so red lentils, garam masala, ginger, salt, pepper, cumin, turmeric, sun dried tomatoes dehydrated mixed veg, one massive tablespoon of dried coconut milk. And this one's nice and easy. You just bosh it in the pot, add the water, add heat, stir when it's bubbling, simmering, and you can let it be. So, literally just get it. See if it smells nice, Tom. Yeah. Cover it, put it on the flame. Once that's boiling, they're gonna put it onto a simmer. So, meanwhile. Cocaine. A massive bag of sniff. Yeah. yeah. It's just flour, ground almonds, and a fistful of sultanas. So it's going to be Peshwari Anak bread. The key is make a little well in the centre. It doesn't have to be neat. And then you're going to add a tiny bit of water. I'm going to start to mix it, catching the flour at the edge with the edge of the spoon. So when it's starting to get a bit sticky like that, I'm going to start kneading. Why did the uh, baker's hand smell? Because he needed a poo. We. This is a messy old tray, isn't it? It is. Get into a ball, and then you can squish it down in your hands. And you want a low flame for it. I was going to try flipping it. You going to go for it? Yeah. Oh, oh, don't. Yeah, so don't flip it unless you know you're going to land it. Oh, spinach. I'm going to add the spinach to mine. The great thing about spinach is it shrinks. Reds are smelling nice anyway. Smell them. That's looking, That's looking good, yeah. It's coming on. Are you getting on with it? Mm, no, it's tasty. Yeah, I like it. That was good. Cracking. Yeah. So there we go. Spinach and coconut dal and some trangia cooked bread. So there you go. Thank you, Tom. You're welcome. Well, uh, I'll shut it off now and we'll just eat. You don't need to see us eat. So, Tom, what are we cooking today? The cottage pie. So I guess it's a, a two-parter. So there's like the main bit and the topping. And this is cottage pie. Cottage pie mix. I didn't tell you this over the phone. This is vegan cottage pie mix. So it's dehydrated soya mince. You wouldn't want to take a big bag of mince out sweating next to your back. <laughs> so that's why I've went with that. Um, generally with this dehydrated stuff, you want to um, rehydrate it. And usually you you have to put quite a lot of water in, but this is partially dehydrated, so right. it will still last a while, but you can see it's still got a bit of squidge to it. So that will allow us to just use as little water as possible. In this mix, there's veggie mince. I've flavored it quite a lot with salt, pepper, cumin, oregano. We've got chorizo in here as well, and dehydrated veg and smoked paprika as well. Lovely. In this one, I've got enough mashed potato mix for both of us. Like smash. Yeah. So we're going to boil all the water we need. If we were having coffees as well, yeah. we'd add coffee water, mashed potato water, and that water. So I'm going to put a bit, probably 
that much in for the mash. Yeah. And that much in for the filling. Yeah. We'll leave off the um, simmering. Right. And there's my lid over like that. Yeah. Yeah. So we've got that boiling now. Mine, mine just came up to a rolling boil. So I'm gonna just put a tiny bit in in my pan now. Keep my pot to one side, and then add half of this match mash mix. It doesn't even have to be on the flame when you do it, it's just somewhere to put it. So, fried cheese in this, so we've got cheesy toppings. Oh, nice. Oh, I can smell the cheese in there. Now, put that to one side. Right, next. Next, relight my fire. He's on. And then you should have just a little bit of water, and then just empty your bag in. So now you want to stir in the water, make sure you see that all of it gets wet. Oh, there's loads of nice smells coming out from there, Tom. Yeah, and as well, you might, again, to up your protein intake or your calorie intake, you can always add a bit of olive oil, which I'm going to do, just because, as you've noticed on my channel, I add it to everything. Go on, stick a touch in there. Yep. It was sizzling away there, Tom. So once we've got this stirred and the heat right through it, We'll put the simmerings back on, add the potato topping, add the lid, and yep. just and then that's just it. Bake it. That's it, yeah. But what I'm gonna do to add to mine as well is add a bit of Worcester sauce. Yep, I'm all over that mate. But I'm also gonna add, because I'm a bit of a fan of it, jalapeno Tabasco sauce. Yes, go on. Try a bit. Because last time we forgot to do that completely, didn't we? Yeah. So mine's steaming away nicely now. I'm going to put on my simmering just over half. Pat it down flat. Put it more on, flatten it down. That's what Tom told me to do. That's what I'm doing. So yeah, put your lid as in your potato lid. And you're just going to spoon it on and spread it out as best you can. Okay. It's almost got a lid on it. <laughs> the potato lid. So there we go, that's got my potato on top so uh, it's doing its job so we're done here aren't we Tom I believe so it's it's all been simmering cooking nicely melding together we've kept the lids on just um, to make sure that potato gets nice and hot but before you tuck in oh, hang on. oh what's this dried onion oh what a touch and then we're about ready to eat Mm, Tom, that is absolutely handsome. Yeah. Got a bit of a kick with that jalapeno as well. I didn't realise how hungry I was until then. 